welcome back to another Shadows of Evil video. If you're looking to pack a punch, there's a few steps you have to do in order to pack a bunch of weapons. The first step is to turn into beast mode in the spawn and go melee the box in the back of the truck. From there, you're going to pick up the summoning's key. Okay, so now we're looking for four items belonging to each of the four playable characters. I'll show you where to find the pin. So in the junction room, which is right outside of spawn, turn into the beast, come up and zap this box. This will now move a crane that was out of reach and it will drop a box for you. And inside that box, you're gonna find the fountain pin. Okay, so you're gonna need to unlock the ritual room for the fountain pin. And in order to do that, you're in junction, in beast mode, look for the grapple up there. Just follow me through. I'm gonna go a little slower than I normally would. You are timed sort of here. You want to get to the back and what you're doing is unlocking a staircase so you can get into the ritual room as a human. Once you've opened this up, you're now back in spawn and that's your way up to the ritual room where you're going to place down the fountain pin on the altar. Okay, so you just return as a human. You're going to place down the fountain pin. It's going to then say press square to hold to begin the ritual. And you're going to have keepers that are going to appear out of thin air. And I'm not sure if this is a timed event or if you need to kill the, the keepers, but just kill them to be on the safe side. It's, they're very easy to kill, headshots, and they go down pretty easily. Just avoid going down yourself, and you're gonna have yourself a piece to unlocking Pack-a-Punch very soon. So pick up the worm, and you have now completed Nero's ritual. You have to repeat this exact step for all four of the characters in all four of their individual ritual rooms. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you where they're all at and how to do it. Now head over to the water district and you're gonna to wanna to turn yourself back into beast mode. Go ahead and do that and follow this path right here. And you're gonna look for a grappling spot up on the ledge here of this building. Grapple up and right up here, you're gonna melee this box. The box will then fall to the ground and break. Inside of it, you'll find the boxers heavyweight championship belt of the world. Now continuing through this same district, make your way to the back and you're gonna find the anvil, which is the boxer's ring. Go in there, place down the item. You're gonna do what you did before. You're gonna collect the worm. That's gonna be two out of four done. Let me show you the last two. So now you're gonna make your way over to the footlight district where you're gonna be looking for Jessica's wig. Very easy to get. Turn yourself into beast mode. Head up the stairs, provided you've unlocked them. If not, zap the power, the stairs will come down. You can then go up the stairs and then straight in front of you, you're gonna see a ramp. Head over to that ramp, hop over it to the ledge. You're gonna knock this box off with your melee and hop down, you're gonna find Jessica's wig. You're gonna pick that up, and then now we're gonna go find Jessica's ritual room. So again, you're gonna to wanna to stay in the same district. Every item you find, its ritual room will be in the same district. So make your way to the back of the footlight district, and you're looking for the black burlesque building, but it's locked, you're gonna to need to get inside. So beast mode again, look for the grappling hook on the top. Drop down, there's gonna be a little zap behind the marquee, zap it and that should open the front door for you. And then you can go inside and perform your third ritual, the same you did the two before. Okay, so now we're moving along to the canal district and you're gonna to wanna to turn into beast mode again. And just pay attention to this one because we're gonna do an extra step this time. You can do this anywhere really in any of the districts, but I'll explain. So right here, you'll find the badge, but it's behind some bars. Make sure you break that big door that I just broke as well. To remove the bars so you can get the badge, you need to come down here and zap that, and that will remove the bars. Now that you've removed the bars, you can hop down and pick up the badge, and there you go. That is part number four. Just one more sacrifice to do, and you will have all four of the worms for Pack-a-Punch. Again, staying in the same district, you're looking for a building called Ruby Red, I believe it's called, or Ruby Rabbit? Ruby Rabbit, I think. You want to grapple up, turn into beast mode, grapple up to the top where you just saw me grapple at, head down to the bottom floor, and you're gonna unlock the door, the front door, by zapping this. It's gonna lower some stairs so now you can come back in as a human and inside you will find the last ritual table. It's worth noting you can do these in any order uh, and you will collect an egg upon completing all of them. You need four eggs to do this next step. So let's check out the next step. So when we got the badge, we opened up a big wall and in this wall is a teleporter that will teleport you to the rift. Open the rift, you wanna go inside of it it's now gonna transport you to this other room. Inside this room, there's gonna be some enemies that spawn. Go ahead and kill them. Those are the keepers, easy to kill. This wall right here with the symbols on it, now that you have all four eggs, when you walk up to it, it disintegrates and reveals a new playable area. 
and this is where you're gonna place your eggs at. So once you go inside, you're gonna find four pedestals. You're gonna place each of the eggs at the four pedestals. After you place two of them in the first two pedestals, you need to wait for the walls to materialize on the sides, and then you can wall run over to the final two spots to place the eggs. And once you place the final two eggs, you will then see a ritual table at the beginning of this room where you're then gonna perform one last ritual and then you will have unlocked Pack-a-Punch once you have completed the ritual. Okay, so you can now wall run back over to this crazy wall and Pack-a-Punch your gun. A little tentacle will come out and take the gun from you and it'll give it back. And of course it'll be Pack-a-Punch with some cool new camo. And it's worth noting that you can double Pack-a-Punch some weapons and get some very special abilities to your guns. So play around with that. Let me know what you find. It's pretty neat. So guys, hopefully you found this tutorial very helpful. If you did, a like would be greatly appreciated. Hopefully you enjoyed. And as always, it's been your boy Lagan24 and I will see you uh, next time.